वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्लास वी स्टडी जे ट्रिपल ए नीट सी टी कॉमेट के मैथ्स मैट्रिस एंड डिटर्मिनेंट्स क्लास एट इन दिस क्लास वी हैव द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम गिवन इफ ए इज अ मैट्रिक्स दैट इज टू क्रॉस टू मैट्रिक्स देन ए स्क्वायर माइनस फाइव ए इज इक्वल टू देर आर फोर ऑप्शन सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द करेक्ट आंसर फर्स्ट सी द इक्वेशन द मैट्रिक्स इज गिवन See the equation a square minus five a. First we'll take this one. A is equal to that is three one minus one and two is a. Now we have to find out a square. A square is what that is three into write on the matrix two times. That is a into this is a. Then this is again a minus one two. So multiply this. Multiplying this one, that is three into three. Just I'll write down three into three. This one plus since there is minus plus one into minus one. So this one again three into one, three into one. Then plus one into two. Next this one is minus one. Into three plus minus one into three plus minus one into three two into minus one. Next same thing with this one minus one into one plus this one two into two two into two. We'll see what we are getting. That is three three. That is nine. Here we are getting nine minus one. Then here three ones are three plus nine minus one. This is the second element plus two. So we are getting here next is minus three minus three minus two. That is minus one into three minus three. This one minus two. Then this is the third element. Then fourth minus one into one minus one. Plus four. So what is what is the matrix answer here? We are getting means eight nine minus one eight three plus two is five minus three minus two is minus five then minus one plus four is three. This is the matrix we are getting by that is multiplying a into a. So now, after this, the next step is after getting this, we finished finding a square. Now we have to find out five a. So five into take this a, that is a, three one minus two into two is equal to. So five into three, fifteen. Five ones are five. That is minus one into five minus five. Five into two is ten. So therefore, this is the matrix that is five a we are getting. Here, this one is a square. So what is there in the formula that is given problem? A square minus five a. So a square is eight five minus five here. We found out three minus what is five a? Five a is here. That is fifteen five minus five and ten. So we have to subtract this and find out which is the option correct. So here eight minus fifteen will be that is minus seven. Here we can write like this. That is eight minus fifteen the first element, then five minus five the second element. I am writing in detail. Minus five, minus five. This one minus minus five. Next is three minus ten. So we wrote down in full detail. Now we can mind directly write. This is eight minus fifteen minus seven. So five minus five is zero. This minus five minus five. So you are getting minus five means this will become plus here. 
minus is there this will become therefore this is also 0 then 3 minus 10 is minus 7 so this is the answer we are getting now we will take out minus 7 outside then what happens here 1 remains 0 remains 0 and again 1 so this is an identity matrix so replace this by i so next step is we can write this one as minus 7 into i so minus 7 is outside the bracket and i is the identity matrix so which is the option correct that is option a is the correct answer or option 1 is the correct answer so this is the first problem i have detailedly explained this problem each and every step i have explained so next we move on to the second problem so second problem is if a and b are the square matrices of order n such that a square minus b square is equal to a minus b and a plus b then which of the following will be correct answer so what happens here they have given a and b as a square matrix of order n so this is the formula given in the problem we have we have to just find out that is a square will write b square is equal to a minus b and a plus b now we just take this as so we'll expand this and write it as a square this one just write down a square a b minus b a minus b square that is a into a a square a into b a b then minus b into a minus b a b into b b square so this is the expansion for this if we take a and b as 0 see here 0 minus 0 then 0 plus we get a b minus b a this one also 0 so now we get a b minus b a so separately we are taking as a as 0 and b as 0 so don't uh, substitute for this so this is a b and b a so finally we get this one as 0 0 then we can we get a b is equal to this is how to solve minus b a sorry this one when minus comes the other side it will become plus finally we can write it as a b is equal to b a so following means option 2 is the correct so this is the solution just take this expand this and make this as 0 then we get only this is left out a b b a then bring this to the other side we will get a b is equal to b a that is option second is the correct answer we move on to the third one third problem is if a is this matrix is given that is 3 cross 3 matrix and i is the unit matrix of order 3 then a square plus 2 a to the power of 4 plus a 4 a power 6 is equal to the option is given now we have to solve this one how to solve take this matrix so i is a unit matrix so first we have to find out a square so a is given a is equal to z 1 0 0 0 1 0 a b minus 1 so a is given next we have to find out a square how to find out a square 1 0 0 a into a 1 0 0 a b minus 1 this is a a square this is a again once again take the same matrix a 1 0 0 0 1 0 a b minus 1 then multiply these two so after multiplying this i will not write detailly just write down 
that is we get the identity matrix after multiplying 0 0 and 1 we get so therefore we can write it as a square is equal to a to the power of 4 is equal to a to the power of 6 is equal to a to the power of 8 which is equal to we can equate it to the identity matrix this can be written as again a square plus 2a to the power of 4 plus 4a to the power of 6 so first once again i'll explain take the matrix a is given i is the unit matrix of order 3 so after this a, a is given take a find out a square a square is a into a will get the identity matrix after this then we can write it as a square will be equal to a to the power of 4 a to the power of will be equal to a to the power of 6 all even numbers is equal to a to the power of 5 this we can equate it as identity matrix and we can name it as i3 which this is equal to this formula they have given as a square plus 2 a to the power of 4 plus a to the power of 6 after this so we will substitute for this what is a square a square means 1 0 0 0 1 0 next a b minus 1 so this is a square plus 2 into again a to the power of 4 means multiply this 2 into same thing 1 0 0 sorry I made a mistake this is 0 0 then this is 1 so this is a square this is a square after this multiply this 1 0 0 0 0 1 same thing here 0 0 ok plus what happens next is 4 into same thing a to the power of 6 all we have equated to the i therefore this one 1 0 0 0 1 then multiply this what we get means this remains as it is this one 0 1 this is a unit matrix 0 0 1 plus multiply this into 2 we will get 2 0 0 0 2 0 0 0 2 plus again multiply this by 4 we are substituting for this formula this a square is for this one therefore 4 into 0 0 multiply this 0 4 0 0 0 4 after this add this we will get 4 6 1 4 plus 2 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 therefore 7 0 0 0 7 0 0 0 7 we are getting so now what happens this one bring 7 outside the bracket outside the matrix we will get this one as identity matrix 0 since here c we got while multiplying a into a we are getting identity matrix so we made all the powers equated to so anywhere if we multiply uh, four times we get identity matrix so if we equated this to i3 then we took this then took the formula and added all this and we substituted it and took seven outside the matrix then remains the unit matrix that is 0 0 1 so we have now take this i3 and substitute 7 into this will be substituted by i3 this one so 7 into i3 so this finally this i3 can be written as that is 7 into i power uh, sorry a power 8 what is a power 8 i just write it the because a power i8 can be written as 7 0 0 0 7 0 0 since a square uh, we write this one that is unit matrix that is a 8 then a to the power of 8 or can be written as i3 here only we have written all the working as shown in the problem just equate this final answer is 7 into r this is also equal to i3 here we have written so this is the solution for this problem so what is the correct answer here option 
4 is the correct answer. Just take this one. So we finished solving this one. We move on to the fourth one. Fourth problem, the number of 3 cross 3 matrices with entries minus 1 or plus 1 is. So 4 option is given. That is option said right. That is 2 to the power of 9. Second one is 2 to the power of 8. Third option is 2 to the power of 9, 7 and fourth is 2 to the power of 6. So which is the option correct we have to find out. So here the answer for this see there are 3 cross 3 means how much there will be 9 elements. There are that is there are 3 cross 3 is equal to 9. 9 elements in 3 cross 3 matrices. Matrices and each element can be filled what they have given in the question each element can be filled filled in two ways in two ways that is either minus one or plus one so there are how much there is nine elements out of nine elements can be filled with plus 1 or minus 1. So therefore we have to write total total possible matrices. So total po possible matrices means 2 to the power of 9. So 9 elements so matrices is 2 to the power of 9. So, so which is the option is correct. That is option A is the correct answer. So this is the fourth one. We move on to the fifth problem. Fifth problem is the matrix is given x, y, z equal to 1, 1, 1, 1. Then x, y, z is equal on comparing we get. So we have to find out that x y x y z values so first we'll take this matrix that is 1 2 minus 3 0 4 5 0 0 1 then x y z which is equal to 1 1 1 so after this we can just take this one as so I will write down the equation that is this one or multiplying this that is 1x 1 into x 1x plus I will write in the matrix 2 into y that is 2y then minus 3 into z is minus 3z then 0 into x 0 then 4 into y 4y plus 5 into z is plus 5z. So next is 0 into 0, 0. 0 into y is 0. 1 into z is z. Next equated the 1. So after this, we have to take each expression separately. First I will start from here z. z is equal to 1 we are getting from this. So now put z is equal to 1 in next equation, we will take one more equation here. That is 4y plus 3, uh, 5z is equal to 1. This is equation 1. In equation 1. So we substitute for z that is 4y plus 5z is equal to 1. That is 4y is equal to 1 minus 5. This is um, four 
फोर वाई प्लस फाइव जेड सॉरी दिस वन फोर वाई प्लस फाइव जेड इज इक्वल टू वन दैट इज फाइव जेड इज इक्वल टू फोर माइनस वन देर फोर वाई इज इक्वल टू इट्स करेक्ट माइनस फोर बाय वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर बाय फोर कैंसल दिस वील गेट माइनस वन वाई एस माइनस वन वी आर गेटिंग दिस इज करेक्ट दिस टेक दिस सेकेंड इक्वेशन सब्सटीट्यूट Z is equal to one, or you make this one our equation one, or this one. So I took the second equation, substituted for Z, and we got y is equal to one. So next step is, next step is put, or you can write substitute y is equal to minus one and Z is equal to one in equation two. What is equation two? See here. We'll take this equation. That is x plus two y minus three z is equal to one. Now we'll substitute x plus two into minus one minus three into one is equal to one. Then x plus minus two. So minus two we are getting minus three is equal to one. So here. So x is equal to minus five is equal to one. Therefore, x is equal to five plus one. Therefore, x or you can write one plus five. Same. X is equal to six. So what are the values we got? Z is equal to one. Y is equal to minus one, and x is equal to six. We got. So which is the option here? That is six. That is third option. Six minus one. If this is x, y, z minus one and one, we got. This is how to solve this problem. Next, sixth problem. That is, if the matrix is given, then a square is equal to the matrix is given. We have to find out a square. So, what is the first step? A is equal to or a square is equal to. Write a twice. One zero. This is one a. Then in a, another a zero one one zero. Multiply this. I show the multiplication, or I'll write the multiplication here. Zero into zero, zero into zero. Then one into one plus one into one. Next. Next is. Again, uh, we have zero into one, zero into one, then plus one into zero. So next is next is one into zero. So one into zero, then plus zero into one, one into zero, zero into one. After this, next step is. One into one. This one is one into one into one plus zero into zero. This one. So matrix multiplication you all will be very similar. So finally we'll write down this one one zero into zero zero plus one into one one zero into zero zero plus one into zero zero. Here uh, one into zero zero plus zero into One is zero. Next, one into one is one, and zero into zero is zero. After this, add all this, we'll get one zero zero one. So, see in the option which is the correct answer. That is here option two is the correct answer. So, take the matrix Y. Uh, since we they have uh, asked us to find out Y square. Write a two times, multiply. Write down each steps. You will get back the answer. So one zero zero one. That is second option is the correct answer. So this is the last problem in this class. If you have any doubt, comment me. Subscribe my channel. Share and like all the videos. Thank you.